guys Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome to my video With me, Eka Wasukurni Ilahi uh, In this opportunity I wanna tell you About some material But before we go I wanna ask you Okay um, When you are asked By your teacher to read a book Or anything like Journal maybe Or uh, an article that turn out to be a lot of page what do you think what do you think you must be dizzy before reading till the end right okay and in this opportunity I want to tell you about solution for an easy way to read with tips namely pre-reading and pre diet check it out let's start with pre-reading what is pre-reading? pre-reading is a way to quickly understand the organization and the outline of a passage pre-reading is a way of looking quickly to get a quick impression or overview of the reading that will be read before we start the reading okay so by this way, with this way, we will be able to read quickly and be able to follow the thought of the of the author of the reading you are read. To do pre-reading, you can do the following steps. The first step is read the title of the reading. For the example, if you buy some novel, uh, of course, usually uh, you or we read the title first, so so we can make a guess. This novel is talk about romance. You got it. The title of a reading usually provides information of the reader about that material or topic is discussed in the reading. The second read the introduction or opening paragraph the introduction or opening paragraph usually provides information or an overview or outline of the content of the reading this is section also contains information or clues about the author's mindset in the initial paragraph is long then you can read the first two or three paragraph. So the third, the third step, read each subtitle. The title of each topic can be a heading. Heading is a kind of title or subheading that provides information on the content or material to be informed about the title or subheading. The title or subtitle is an outline of the content of the reading. The first step is read the first sentence of each title or subtitle. The title or subtitle actually provides brief information about the outline of the content of the paragraph or reading. But the first sentence of each title or subheading provides information about the title or subheading which the subject matter discuss. Okay. The next step is read the writing typography. Writing typography is usually in italic. Bold type, color, color writing, numbering or capitalization and underline the next step is attention to the graphics or picture if in your reading is there is the graphic or picture graphic or pictures aim to emphasize to mind points in a reading the first the picture or graphic emphasize the mind ideas discussed in the reading. So the second, second, picture or graphics 
provide information about a summary of the main idea or the relationship between the main ideas discussed in the reading. In addition to graphics or pictures in the form of charts, tables also provide the main thing discussed in reading. So the last step is read the last paragraph or conclusion. Why? Because in the last paragraph or in the conclusion, include all of reading material. The author uh, talk the conclusion. The author conclude uh, the material all of that book in the conclusion. So you can read the last paragraph. Okay, that's all about three reading. So next, let's discuss about making prediction and connection. When you read an advertisement for a film that is plastered in front of the cinema or a film advertisement in newspaper or magazine, you will make a guess about the film. At first, you predict that what the film is about. Then, you will be also predict the storyline of the film and, the, and in the end, you will be decide that the film is will be fine, good, or romantic, which will then take you to decide whether you will see it or no. Okay. You will also make a guess whether the end of the film will end in happiness or sadness. Pre-reading, same as seeing a preview of a movie. After pre-reading, you should be able to make prediction about the content and the organization of the material and relate to the related topic knowledge that you have mastered. I'm sure you have a question like, how to do pre-reading? Okay, an efficient reader very often makes prediction or anticipation either before or while reading a book or some uh, journal or an article in terms of the content and organization of the reading material. For the example, when you read a book, the title Writing English Language Test. From the title of this book, you can predict the material discussed in the book, which is about how to write language tests. Beside that, the author of the book can predict that he will explain how to read how to write language tests. If you open the book page by page and if you find chapters, subtitle, graphics, pictures, chapter summaries, this all provide information to you about the books contains more fully than simply reading the title of the book. Once you have pre-reading a reading text, one of the next important steps is to remember what you already know related to the text, to the text, or reading you pre-read. This step can be done by can be done by connecting the knowledge and experience you already have related to the topic in the text. There are several reasons why we should take steps to make a connection between knowledge, knowledge and experience with the text to be read. One reason is that learning becomes easier when you can relate new information to the information you already have. The task that must be done in the learning process will feel more meaningful if 
uh, you are able to connect the new knowledge with the knowledge that you have already known material that is familiar to you and meaningful is easier to learn that knowledge that you are not familiar with for the example it will be easy for you to read uh, and study economic laws when you are an economic actor because you already have experience doing economic activities Okay, that's all the material for today. The conclusion uh, for the for that material. Um, Pre-reading is a technique that allows readers to become familiar with the material to be read. There are seven, seven, seven steps to pre-reading. Namely, first, the first, read the title of the reading. Second, read the introduction or often opening paragraph. The third, read each subtitle. The fourth, read the first sentence of each title or subtitle. Fifth, read the typography of writing. Next, the sixth, pay attention of the graphic or picture if in the book you read or anything that you read there is the graphic or picture so the last read the last paragraph or conclusion efficient readers very often make prediction either before or while reading uh, some book or that that they read in terms of the content and organization of the reading materials. Prediction is the process of making a connection between what you already know about the reading material or book you are going to read with the interaction that you make as pre-reading material. During the pre-reading, one of the next important step is to remember what you already know related to the text or reading that you pre-read. This step can be done by connection to knowledge and experience you already have with the topic of the text. Okay, until here for today. I hope you like my video and don't forget to Click like under this video and see you. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.